channel where I talk about solved and unsolved true crime cases as well as missing person cases that I don't feel have gotten enough attention on mainstream media. If you're interested in these cases like I am, I hope you will choose to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I post new content. I am posting a minimum of twice per week, so I hope we could have some great discussions. And if you have a case that you'd like me to look into, please post that in the comment section down below. Oh my. I'm glad this is not smell-o-vision. I got this new lotion, and though it works amazing, it's got me smelling like Play-Doh over here, and it's not a good look. Anyways. Today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do a little segment called Did You Know? It's going to be a short segment that has, like, fun facts and statistics and so forth. If it works out, I'll add a new Did You Know video each week, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Let's get started. Did you know? Did you know that as of 2016, the National Crime Information Center has reported that there were 5,712 missing Native American women in this country, which is, by the way, a gross understatement. But the U.S. Department of Justice Missing Persons Database only shows 116 cases. That's 116 cases out of 5,712. Did you know that at least 56% of Native American women experience sexual violence at least once in their lifetime? Did you know that at least 55% of indigenous women have been physically abused by their intimate partners? Did you know that at least 48% of indigenous women have been stalked? And these are just the cases that have been reported. The number is actually probably quite a bit higher. Um, not all cases are going to be reported. Did you know that 71% of Native Americans are labeled as urban Indians by the FBI? Meaning that they don't live on federal reservations. But that's a term that I have never heard before. I found that quite interesting. Did you know that according to statistics released by the FBI, in 2020, at least four black females were murdered per day in the United States of America? Did you know that the overall murder rate in the United States rose by 30% during the pandemic? What is going on out there? I understand that it's a hard time. People need to calm the fuck down. That's all I can say about that. Did you know that most of America's homicide victims are men with black males facing the highest overall risk of homicide? Did you know that black women make up only 7% of the population in the United States, but 10% of the missing persons cases? Did you know that black Americans, male and female combined, make up 13% of the population in the U.S., but 35% of the missing persons? 35%. Did you know that missing minority children are often automatically listed as runaways? and therefore do not receive the Amber Alert? Did you know that when a Hispanic person is reported missing, the FBI classifies them as white? Did you know that missing minority adults are commonly labeled as criminals, drug addicts, drug dealers, drunks, and gang members? This causes desensitization since it's widely believed that missing minorities live in poverty anyway, Crime is just part of their daily lives, which makes their case seem less newsworthy. Did you know that a survey of news anchors and journalists across the U.S. found that young, pretty, white American women, preferably blonde hair, blue eyes, that go missing, are the most reported on because they are more likely to garner a sympathetic response from their audience rather than reporting on missing people of color. Black men are not thugs. Hispanics are not illegals. Native Americans are not drunks. Republican are not white supremacists. Stop with the stereotyping. Stop it. If you're born in this country as a person of color or a person in lower social classes, chances are you're not going to be treated fairly. When it comes to missing and murdered family members, 
Color and class should have nothing to do with how their cases are handled. We need to hold ourselves accountable. We need to teach our children better. We need to give police better training and fire their asses if they refuse to do the damn job. We need to hire more child advocates. We need to hire with more diversity and we need to hold mainstream media accountable. Let's commit to do better. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment. I would love to hear how y'all feel about these stats, if they piss you off as much as they piss me off. And I guess my cat would like to hear about it too. This would be sweetness. <laughs> Stay safe out there, y'all. I'll see you again soon.